Tame Workholding are renowned for specialist fixturing and workholding solutions. Today we're going to be discussing the zero point fixtures that you supply. Can you firstly tell our audience how they help the end user? Well, they're very quick to use. You put them on the table and then you've got a zero point. You put your vices on and off with the use of one bolt. Uh, so it's a very quick system. And what benefits does the end user get from saving that setup time? They can machine more parts, less setup time and uh, more product productivity. And what about the repeatability? How repeatable are they? It repeats within 20 microns. And what kind of pool studs do you use and what's the pitch of the pool studs? We have two uh, types of pool stud. They're the same um, type of pool stud, but one is a 16 mil at uh, 52 centres and then we have a 20 mil pool stud at 96 centres. And does that accommodate for all your work holding solutions? It does accommodate all the work holding solutions. If you have something larger than that, you can put two plates together and spread that. And so you can spread two plates with bigger parts. Very flexible, very modular. And also we have some plates now that have 52 and 96 centers in the same plate. So when you're swapping from a small vice to a large vice, Again, it's much quicker on the setup. It accommodates for both versions. It accommodates both versions. What about if you wanted to load a component directly onto a zero point plate? So if you have, a, again, a large component or a difficult component to machine, you can put the zero point studs in the bottom of the component and then that'll go straight onto the plate. And then you could either be left with the tapped holes in the bottom of the part, which sometimes doesn't matter, or just leave a certain amount of machine off to remove those holes afterwards. And what about palletisation? Do you believe that with the zero point system it also lends itself to this kind of work holding? It does, yeah. So you could load up several pallets or fixtures outside the machine and then you could just put them in and out because again you're only undoing the one bolt so it's a quick process. So it, it, it's, it's saving time again. So how long, how long does it actually take to remove one fixture and replace it with another? It's a couple of minutes. So on this particular machine, it really illustrates the utilisation of this small machine envelope. Is this a common feature? It is, yes. So on this particular machine, we've got four different plates. Uh, the, the other thing with these plates is that you can bolt them directly to the bed, so you can drill and tap the bed, or they can be clamped with the T-slots. So it makes it even more flexible. You can put the plates wherever you need them. And in this particular example that, you've, that you're illustrating, You've got three different setups with the potential to have a four. That's correct, yeah. So as long as you've got room around the parts, you could run three different programs, uh, leave the machine running when you go home, for instance, and you come back and you've got those three, four parts done. So effectively, it's going to just improve anybody's productivity and efficiency. It is, that's right.